welcome. All right, welcome to Rome 2 Total War. This is uh, another multiplayer battle against the same battle I did last time. It's pretty much the only one I have to play with, and not probably too terrified to play with anyone else. But that aside, uh, this is a uh, kind of a special battle, as you can see. It's uh, it's uh, Lusitania. Let me actually get rid of this one. Uh, it's uh, Lusitania versus Rome. And we all know that the Lusitania is not really a stand-up faction, it's more of a hit-and-run versus Rome, that is really a stand-and-fight. That aside though, I have spread all, all over the map. <coughs> and uh, this is what I could see. I could... Oh yeah, I could also find the dogs. I found the dogs early on though, so I was happy about that. But Back to what I was saying, going to say that I could only see these two Riders Roman forwards. Uh, uh, Roman uh, uh, contingents, and that actually got me worried too. <laughs> so uh, we we are a little bit behind, but much now I know this guy likes to have like weaker units up front, so he's. Uh, Better troops could uh, can you know win the fight for him, but <laughs> for now, all he has are these two contingents, which I am currently going to work on. And I forgot to put on the um, it's called the skirmish mode here, so uh, yeah, my cavalry's going to eat it. Also, I'm moving my. Uh, my own elite force down here, which are the tiny nobles, which I believe is one of the uh, best sword units in the entire game. So, um, we're going to absolutely massacre this, uh, this part of the uh, of his army. And this sword charge here didn't really kill us. Nope, it didn't. It really didn't. I'm not sure really what's going on here, but okay, so we just running around, just a lot of slingers and uh, a few of these, uh, two actually, of these kind of brigand cavalry, which doesn't really do too much in this game or in this battle. Oh, yeah, and here I actually found the rest of his army because I charged the dogs. And uh, I guess now I finally get to know what actually happened to my uh, to my cavalry. Also, he has another. Picture. Okay, there. It is. So uh, yeah, I I even uh, you know shouted to him like, well, actually <laughs> I actually shouted to him like, hey, we're not gonna use your legionaries. He didn't reply, so I guess never. Also, we are going to have a work on these. Uh, I mean, auxiliary infantry is very weak. So, um, I gotta shoe up this uh, this part very much. And here are little tiny guerrillas going at it. Not gonna really kill anyone. So yeah, now I finally got to know what happened to my cavalry. He, he had no idea that he lost his dogs. All of a sudden, his dogs were gone, he said. <laughs> and here we are trying a little... Uh... Okay, it's actually medium on medium, but here we're just trying to pull away in order to drag him with us. And as you can see, that really works out quite well for us, actually. Well, this arm, this part of the army is almost done with. Just a little, these tiny guerrillas getting their asses kicked. But we are gonna deal with that soon enough. And these guys stand absolutely no chance. Nobles, see they just died, melted on it. <laughs> He 
charge my gorilla like that. And uh, you only have two of these, but they are really good. Oh god. Now, mind you, this is a um, replays. And um, Total War's uh, replays have never, never really been as it should be. So uh, we might see a different result from what actually happened. Oh, I actually committed this, uh, at least two of them. But overall, I think it actually went better for him up here than it did down here. Oh, no. Here, he never really committed any okay, one, but he didn't really commit a whole of a lot. As you then say. again, I do have my very good troops here. I only have three of them now, so... Uh... And this really got me worried right here, like, oh shit, no. he's gonna chew up all of my no. slingers and I'm gonna be in an even worse situation than I actually am in. No. And I think he actually realized that. I, I had him running around all over the place. <clears throat> I mean, I was charging a unit in, I was running a unit out, I was charging in, running out, just keeping them occupied all over the place, hopefully. And, um, yeah, after a while, it's just these small units. And I have no. No idea. Okay, I know they are there, but I just don't know when you can commit them. And I just look at my own, I look at my own army and I see that my Gustavians are actually quite good, but everyone else are kind of beaten up. So of course I am worried. I didn't love it when I get a unit that you just help. Sally is it is looking the right way, so um And I, you, you should always be happy when you manage to beat the shit out of legionaries with uh, medium troops. <laughs> Over here though, though he's making a valiant stand with another with a lot of good troops. <laughs> okay, maybe not I bought the two. This is why I don't really do replay. But yeah, up here is pretty much already, you know, beaten to death. They're gonna retreat these guys into the forest. They're gonna come back later. They're gonna hide these guys here. I actually didn't know where they went. So I'm glad that I do that now. The legionaries are broken and they have studies. Well, But yeah, overall, this battle took about 25 minutes, Understood. and it was a good battle. That a good battle lasts quite a while. Well, uh, you know, I mean, the sooner you kill them, the better it is. But you know, still, the studies are leaving. Oh yeah, and here comes everyone else, actually. Well, he's gonna move up over here, I'm gonna hide my troop in the forest, I'm gonna finish this unit off, it's melting away, and there we are. Remember, this unit, this wing is actually stronger than this one. So, uh, there isn't. Oh, yeah, this is. And now we're just gonna get the army in order. I am gonna pop a few. Uh, uh, what is it? Second wind to get my army back up into uh, condition. And it's second now. There we go. 
And that one actually saved me in the end, I can guarantee you that. And something that really bagged me in the ass is that I actually gonna lose my cavalry, which really hurt me. I just did not have a good look at my <laughs> at my cavalry over here. I mean one got killed over here and I didn't even know about it. Until now. These guys are just gonna keep these guys occupied. They're not gonna catch them because they need him. And uh, here I actually try to, <laughs> to just brute force my way through his army to link up with my army. A few units are gonna make it, but as you will see, a few won't. And I am of course moving my army double time in order to actually catch up. And I'm trying to kill his uh, general too. We've been just running around this unit here and this is my connection. Ah, uh, yeah, this is where I lost my cavalry. Advance at speed! Foot riders, forward! I think even a few units got caught and I didn't know about it. Like their boot caught. <clears throat> Withdraw! Making sure these guys are up fight. Fire on them! So yeah, in the end, only uh, two units from this army made it. Maybe okay, three. And I, you saw that? I did not see that. My focus was like this. So uh, yeah, when that unit is gonna come out, I am gonna be surprised and just absolutely worried about it. Like, I mean, I thought I was gonna lose this battle, mostly because of you know the Praetorians over here, which are not something you wanna mess about with. And to make matters worse, I am actually running low on ammunition by this point. <laughs> Get running! Lose! He's gonna go into my position and I'm gonna take off his. Advance. But the thing is that I am actually gonna attack. I'm gonna follow my nature and just go at it. On my military instincts, at least. Or doctrine, I don't know what you wanna say. These guys just won't die. They like immune. Anyway, I can have pop another. Uh, what's my nobles? There's one. There's one, and I can have pop. Let's go! Yeah, soon. Come on. Let's go! Take the head. So now, there we go. Uh, so now, the the one thing I, I can hope for is that uh, his unit. He said I can lock his units down with my nobles and have my uh, guerrillas and my slingers actually run around the, behind him. Which is gonna work, sort of. There we go. Like, that killed four. I mean, that's one thing I like with the attacking guerrillas. They are three units. Well, they are counted as a spear unit. But the, the, the first attack you give to them is actually a missile attack. So, uh, you know, they're like a hybrid, sort of. Javelin and spearman, but it counts as spearman. And here we go, my units are fresh, Warriors, this me. noble unit for some reason. Get moving. These are a wounded, or sort of, mostly fresh. Really nice setup he has though, you know, I'm spreading out to make sure that I can't. And I can run circles around him. We're 
they're taking trophies. Oh yeah, that that one also is very good. The, uh, yeah, it really makes their attack go up, go up by a lot. Any any moment this devil is gonna pop out, I'm sure. There we go. Right there He actually has it. He, he popped a rally right now. And an inspire. Race banner. His men also have the Praetorians. The, uh, they have the. Uh, uh, what's it called? Um, use the whip, which will lock his uh, fatigue levels. You will see these guys are just absolutely eating it. Forward! And these guys are just gonna run circles around this poor core gotcha! and back. No! And that Praetorian just got absolutely eaten. Sadly though, my cavalry got caught in the middle of that. That's not good at all. But at least we beat this. Very fresh. Torians. Fresh, fresh. Tired. Oh, that's only the Hastati. My units are exhausted. Good, I can upload these guys fast. And I actually managed to hide from this group. Well, we managed to pull out. Warriors, move out! They are coming back, luckily for me. So now we're gonna have um, you envelop me, so I'm gonna envelop you. And we are gonna get this every unit eventually. There we are, just gonna <laughs> pop in a quick little uh, head hunt. And we're making sure these guys are fresh again. Now these guys will absolutely say, nope, fuck this, out. And we're gonna get a nice little shot. It will help with morale, but much else I'm not sure about. But yeah, I am <coughs> absolutely uh, tense. You know? One little wrong move here will actually cause it cause a disaster for me. And I'm just absolutely Move going for the, for his general at this point. Because who wouldn't at this late stage of a battle? So now it's just the nobles versus Praetorians and legionaries. These guys are gone, these guys are gonna move up. So the nobles are gonna move up. The Cirellas are gonna chase these guys when we need it. Gonna spread them out a little bit. Now this is what we're down to. Few nobles. This the general. Kill, kill, general. Withdraw! Except that was my nobles actually. Break up! Yep, those are get, get running! Forward! Get running! And I think they killed a Roman that was assumed. And his general just won't die, which was really goddamn annoying for me. Let's speed this up a little bit. So here we go, we're gonna lock them down with the... Uh, As you say. With our active and fresh nobles against his winded and tired Praetorians. Winded legionaries. Get running! He is gonna Take use on! the whip. Use the whip, yes, that's gonna hurt him in the end though. We are so, taking uh, trophies! And we are gonna use headhunt. No, that is battle rhythm. Oh that's a helpful. 
Oh, that was easy. <laughs> Long that one lasted. He's gonna pop a rally, I am gonna pop kill, these guys kill, in the back. Kill. He's gonna pop my men in the back. He's gonna pull my units back. Sort of catching his general. Getting a number on him. These men are getting tired, my men are still fresh. These guys are worried. Warriors and they're gonna run. These guys are now suffering from the whip, they are exhausted. My men are winded. I'm gonna pull them back and get a nice little Understood. slap in the arse of these guys. We're gonna try the same thing with the cavalry. Dude, he's actually finding information, so a few of his units are on a few men, a few of his men are actually not fighting. There we are, we're gonna pop up these guys out to fight, we don't have anything to do with it, I'm gonna make my units fresh again. Pop, uh, no, I'm actually popping uh, headhunters. These guys are gonna be hunting the legionaries. There we go, and then pop these guys in the back. Have a charge. Have every unit. Kind of taking a hit there. But most of them actually get back up. And I am, of course, hoping that his general is gonna die soon. These Praetorians are very tired, they can't even fight properly anymore. And my general is somewhere in there. Metage! His Praetorians are gonna run after this rear charge, or flank charge, flank and rear charge. And now it's just his uh, general, who is of course gonna decide to fuck this battle. Warriors, I am done! And there we have it, I won a very... Very costly victory, and uh, well, I guess some things could have gone better, but you know, if I could have uh, joined more troops together, then that would have uh, really helped me a lot. And if I actually had looked after my cavalry, then that would have been even better. So I hope you all enjoyed. I most certainly have. It was a very nice victory. <laughs> And, uh, well, for now, between me and my buddy, it's a 2-1 victory rate. Meaning that I have two victories, he has, well, two to one, well, one victory, sorry. I have two, he has one. Farewell.